25th, 2014. The biggest cultural comp of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. Six stages, more than 200 performers, and thousands of people filling the festival with a whole lot of poly flavor. My name is Tui Napa, Miss Cook Islands, Miss South Pacific, and today Miss Cookie Polyfist bringing to you the best of the beats from the Cook Island stage. Coming up on today's show is a whole lot of hip shaking, beat making action from the stage. advice from Auntie Tala. I stood up here at the roundabout because most of the answers of your questions, I'm just going to go around about. And the Sola sisters are keeping up with the cookies. Hey guys, my name's Serenity. My name's Lena, and together we are keeping up with the Solas. First up though, let's get brown and around at the cookie stage. <laughs> This is about embracing our culture and uh, showing our younger generation that our culture never dies. If there's anything you need to know about the cookies is that they love their circles. Circle stars, circle food, circle jewels, and circle drinks. But one circle you need to get your brown and around on is the circle flowers. Hey, girl. You know you're on Cook Island when you see the eggs. <laughs> Katsu just celebrates where you're from and people of the Cook Islands, the women have been wearing them for centuries. I wear it to represent and accentuate the beauty of a Cook Island woman. What I'm wearing is um, an Eikatsu made out of artificial flowers, but if you see how I'm wearing it, it looks real. The one I'm wearing is made out of what we call roti, um, it grows in Rari. Mainly the elderly wear this one, and the young ones wear these ones. But so, the yeah. old bags make it. <laughs> Me and my friend bought these <laughs> because it's attractive to the guys. <laughs> when I see a girl with an uh, A on their head, that's the one that I rate. Um, I look at them and I say, they look beautiful, they're looking sharp today. Keep, Keep it fresh and polyfed! <laughs> And back to another kind of circle at the Polyfest is them hips. From traditional church hymns to legends to the signature drum dance, everybody's on their brown and around bracket with the circle of cookie life. Literally, Flying King styles, yo. <laughs> Thank you. 
preparation for this year, for 2014, has been a very hard time. Um, we've had practices that have been tiring, practices that have been fun, and also practices that has also been stressful for us. stage is the best stage to be at because you see all the nice girls, see all the hot chicks around. Um, and the nice boys too. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, the performance, but I was pretty nerve-wracking. Saw all my fans, shout out to all my fans. Pretty packed and there was a lot of vibes going through. Pretty nervous because they're like watching your every movement. Other cultures like Indian, Fijian, Samoan, Tongan. It was actually hard to get them to come in and dance because at our school we don't have um, so much Cook Islanders. The boys today was good. Eh? Uh, everyone did their best. Green represented the land, and uh, blue represented obviously the water. Um, it, the theme is mainly about how we, as people, how we have to look after our land and our water. So you know, no disasters will be happening, and uh, Tangaroa and Rongo won't be mad and stuff. But yeah, we just gotta look after our yeah our area. Everything, the creativity, eh? like every year we always change, but this year is just a different level, whole new level, eh? Like, yeah, it was awesome. I just always like to bring new things to the table. Yeah. You know, you know, just to upgrade our style in Cook Island dancing and drumming. Keep it fresh on Mangry College! How amazing is it to have all our cookie people sharing their skills and all the amazing island nations getting amongst it around the festival? One thing that can only be seen at the cookie stage is the magic of the costume change. Just like that, we have lots more action backstage for you right after the break. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So she may look skinny, but don't be heavy. Stage. I can see why the aunties bring their chairs and stuff. It's pretty comfy, eh? It is, Serenity, it is indeed. And you know what? With our little VIP section here, we can really see the real Mr. Lava Lovers. Anyway, Miss South Pacific Cook Highlands Cookie Polly Fest isn't here right now because she's with Auntie Tella telling her her fortune. Yes. Uh, do you remember our fortune? I've just always wondered if like, I'll ever find like, you know, a boyfriend. I've been single my whole life. I'm 15 and it's just a bit of a struggle. Like nobody like it. It's really It's very sad. It really hit me in my my, my pocket. Yeah, you're still single, Serenity, so we might need to find you a man around here. Any takers? You're still single? <laughs> Uh, 
as you can see behind me, I've set up my tea in my casepo so that I can tell you your future. And I set it up here at the roundabout because most of the answers of your questions, I'm just going to go around about. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you're the Miss South Pacific, is I it? am. Wow, okay. So what would you like to know? Who do you think's going to win Cook Island stage? Uh, I have this funny feeling, um, it's like a rumple in my stomach because I haven't eaten the last two seconds. But um, I think it's out of uh, um, King's College or St. Cuff's sperm, something like that, and dialysis. Is it dialysis? dialysis? Yeah, that's the name of the school. And I think that the real school to look out for in the Cook Island States is Middlemore Hospital. Middlemore Hospital? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Middlemore High School. That's the school you have to look out for. Yeah? Yeah, Middlemore High School. You're so popular with the crowds and they love you. Of so course. do you have any tips for me as I go out and about throughout Polyfish? Um, so first of all, you have to be really attractive. Okay, like myself. Uh, not only that, you have to be like size eight, like me. And you also be, must be able to, I can communicate in all Pacific Island languages. Really? Yeah, I can speak wow. Cook Island. Yeah, Malo LLA. So what about when you wave, how do you wave? Because there's a certain way you need, because I used to be uh, Miss South Pacific. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they must have dropped the standard, eh? If you, no. Uh, no? So how do you wave? You just wave, you just almost like a queen. Almost like a queen. Um, we, 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 back in my days, we waved different. Yeah, we used to wave like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 small community in New Zealand. We still bring all our heart, all the best to the stage when we perform and we love who we are and where we're from. We're part of Polyfest because there is, like I said, there's never another festival like this in the world. Amazing. Like, never experienced it before, but yeah, it was good. What I love about is being on stage, getting the chance to perform, um, yeah, having fun. Up for performing well, uh, sharp actions, having sharp actions, um, uh, singing, volume. My tips are smile, enjoy yourself, and love what you're doing. So it wasn't the jump dance, we just wanted to show her and bring a special feature to the to the Polyfest, to Kokana stage that has never been done before in early college. So we just thought that was a good trick to do, and especially when um, I'm like one of the one of the people who holds her up, and she she may look skinny, but then she's heavy. Every single day we practice it. She almost fell over a couple of times, but today we did good. Yeah. The legend, it's a Puka Puka legend. It's basically like a haka for Puka Pukans. Manu is a bird and it is fly. It's about these hunters going out for them to kill the bird and bring it back for the book. Our item is about a massive tree that splits two houses. And on one side, there was only one breadfruit left there. And my wife, Mitsuo, she stole it and the husband who owned the breadfruit, he came over and he was angry and then I come in, then I ask him for a fight, but unfortunately I lose. And then my, my knight in shining armor, Mitsuo, she came and saved me. Our legend is about three brothers. The older one thinks he's all that and he can get the biggest fish, but he ends up fishing up a shark, which is 
not edible back in the days. And then the middle one, which is like a trevally, which you can only feed one person, which the village gonna eat. And then the youngest one fishes up the island, which is known as the island of Hawaii. Yeah. Man, after watching all this cookie action, I feel like I need to go get my shake on. Yeah, if we sit here for a little longer, people might think we're bunny and bunny or something. Right, right, right. Okay, everyone, we'll be back real soon, and so will Miss Cookie Polyfest. See you later. Give me the girl, them when no overwork it. Give me the ball. Up, 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 and move your body to the. I want the ball. Give me the girl, them when no overwork it. Give me the ball. Up, 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 and move your body to the. Fresh. They say they do it for the love, not the money, but the living in the sunlight. Rich now, working, got a daddy time. Welcome back to the Cook Island stage here at the ASB Polyfest 2014. Here is where you find the beats and beauty being shared and celebrated, which is awesome to see, especially if you're from the islands like me. When I'm in my costume, you can see that it really does emphasize the beat. pretty signature to our people. But what about the rest of our polyfesters? If you haven't been keeping up with the Solar Sisters, check them out right now. Keeping up with the cookies. Here at the Polyfest, we hear that the Kukalanders know how to shake it the best. Kind of like me, kind of like this. Um, no, Lena, it's kind of like this. No, you got to sway. No, it's kind of like this. Like, you got to move your knees, kind of. No, Lena, you're not moving your knees, you're moving your stomach, OK? You've got to move it like that. No, you know what? Like that. Islanders who actually know how to shake it. Ow. Oh, that's fun. That's the washing machine right there. Shake your legs. Shake your legs. Yeah, oh, that's wow. right. Now, I've just seen the Cook Islanders do the drum dance. Let's see if our other Pacific cousins can do it better. What do you reckon? I reckon the Tongans would be pretty good. You know? I reckon the Samoans will hit it off, you know. Maybe the New Wayans. The New Wayans? Maybe. Should we go find some? Yes, we shall. Right, we okay. shall. Come on. Hello, So late, but I'm I'm man enough. I'm man enough. Hope you got that because it's about that time people, no matter what stage you're at, what school you're representing or supporting, the one thing everyone hangs out here for are the winners. Thank you. 
big congrats to all our winners and everyone representing our Cookie Nation. That's it from me for the Cook Islands. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Keep it fresh till next week when we bring to you the awesome island of Samoa. Hello, let's wait for Polyfreshies. Welcome back to another round of Polyfest 2014. Today, it's the kingdom of Mactanda. Welcome to... Samoa! Daika! Buffalo! Mr. Lava Lava! No Thank you for the ads and a fresh thank you to New Zealand On Air for the funding. Love loving it.